United States and Mexican officials have also agreed on new immigration policies meant to deter illegal border crossings, while also opening up other pathways ahead of the expected increase in migrants following the end of Title 42. Homeland Security Advisor Liz Sherwood Randall met with Mexico President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador and other top officials on May 2nd, emerging with a five-point plan. Under the agreement, Mexico will continue to accept migrants from Venezuela, Haiti, Cuba, and Nicaragua who are turned away at the border, and up to 100,000 individuals from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador who have family in the United States, and they will be eligible to live and work here. Mexico's support is critical to any push by the United States to clamp down at the southern border, particularly as migrants from nations from as far away as Haiti are making the trek on foot up through Mexico, and they are not easily returned back to their home countries. The United States will continue to turn away Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans who cross illegally. Mexico said it will continue to accept up to 30,000 migrants per month from these four countries that are making up a ballooning share of the overall illegal border crossings. And on April 27th, the United States announced it will be also working with Colombia and Guatemala to set up regional processing centers to allow migrants to apply to come to the United States from Colombia and from Guatemala before they attempt the grueling journey through Central America and Mexico. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.